Hello everyone and welcome. This is Allison Okamitsu here from nicepeoplestamp.com. Thank you for joining me for my live crafting show. Whether you're watching live or watching the replay, I'm happy you're here and we have a really fun card to make together today. So we are making a fun fold card. So a fun fold card really just means a card that isn't just like a, you know, a piece of paper folded in half. So we're going to make a pocket fun fold. This is a card that I have made several times. I don't think I've ever shared this card design on my channel though. So hopefully it is new for you. And if it's not new, then maybe you'll like the, you know, the paper pieces that I put on it to wow it up. So we are using the Garden Bird Houses stamp set for this card. This is a stamp set that got a ton of love from me. <laughs> I used it a ton when it first came out and then it's kind of been sitting on the shelf. It needed some more love. Like this stamp set is so cute. Very spring. It's really super adorable. Do you want to see it? Hello everyone, I can see your comments. Thanks for being here. Make sure you say hi when you get here. I love to hear from you. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe because of course I don't want you to miss any of the crafty fun. Okay, so here is the stamp set. Like I said, it's called Garden Bird Houses. It's really super cute. It's got, you know, three bird houses, three different birds, lots of sentiments, like some greenery if you want it to. There is a lot happening in this stamp set. So it's a really great one to add to your collection. And I have no insider information, but I have a distinct feeling that this one will retire when the retiring list comes out um, in just a couple of weeks. I don't know why. I feel like it's been around for a while, so maybe that it will get retired. We'll see. I don't know. Like I said, I have no insider info. I wish I did. <laughs> All right, so I wanna know, because I have two different projects to share with you today. I wanna know which one you like best. So make sure you stick around to the end because I'll show you the second one after I've made the first one. So make sure you stick around because I would love to know which one is your favorite. Um, I think if you watch my channel regularly, you're gonna know which one is my favorite. <laughs> but um, if you're new here, then maybe you don't know which one is my favorite. And honestly, it doesn't matter. They're both super cute. I'm excited to share both of them with you. I just love to know what people like. Um, it helps me plan for upcoming videos and projects and classes and all of that. So speaking of classes, today is the last day to sign up for my virtual retreat. So this is a weekend event, but it's all online. So no matter where you are in Canada, you can join me for this super fun weekend. It's so fabulous. I hope you'll join me. And tonight is the last, if that's it, I'm cutting it off. So if you're watching this live or you're watching the replay later, make sure you check the date because the last date to get a spot is March 15th, 2023. And there's a link in the video description if you would like some more information. Speaking of the video description, everything I've used for tonight's project is linked below. So if you're in Canada and you would like to shop for some of these crafty project products for our project, I always mix those two words up. Um, if you would like to purchase any of the items I've used for my project, please go ahead and check out the video description and click those links. It would mean the world to me if you became one of my customers and started to shop with me. And if you're already one of my customers, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. It truly is true when they say like someone is on the other end of an email doing a happy dance, you know, when you get an order. So I really appreciate you and I'm thankful that you choose to shop with me. So let's get into tonight's project. I'm very excited for Garden Bird Houses because like I said, I haven't used it in a while and it is time for it to get some love once again. If you have this stamp set, let me know because I think it's super cute and um, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with it tonight. I know I'll get asked, my sweatshirt is a design by myself and it is going on sale on Friday. So Friday, March 17th, these sweatshirts and t-shirts and the adhesive pouch will go on sale on my blog at nicepeoplestamp.com. So it'll be a pre-order. So if you would like to get in and get one of these while you can, make sure you go ahead and check my blog on Friday because it will be a pre-order open for a small amount of time 
and then the production of the merchandise will start. So I release a new design about every six months. So this may be your only chance. It's going back into the vault after this. So I can ship anywhere in Canada and the US for any apparel. So if you're watching from the US, yes, I can ship it off to you as well. All right, let's get into crafting. I'm so excited. So I am going to turn the camera down. Let me move my computer out of the way. And we are going to take a look at garden birdhouses and get into our awesome fun fold card. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so let me get my camera moved here. So bear with me, I know. Let's get it situated. All right, so I think that's looking pretty good. Let me just, yeah, I think that's all right. Okay. All right, so I'm seeing some uh, questions about the sweatshirts. Yes, there's absolutely plus sizes. I myself wear a plus size. So um, yes, there's sizes, I believe, up to 4X, possibly 5X. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. So yes, there's absolutely plus sizes. That's very important to me to be inclusive. They go, they start at extra small. So it's important to me that everyone can have something because it's not nice to miss out on all the fun stuff when you're a larger person. Okay, so here is our garden birdhouses set and we are making a pocket fun fold. So let's bring out our paper trimmer first because we need to make the, um, like the, the score lines in our cardstock so we can make the fun fold. So this is just my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. And I have a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock here. So this is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. So it's the same size as a standard card base. So if you were to cut a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock in half, this is half, okay? So now on the eight and a half inch side, I want to do two score lines. So my dark blade is my cutting blade. My light blade is my scoring blade. So let's make sure we do that right. So first off, I want to score at two inches. So I'll just do a nice score line there. And then I'm gonna move over to six and a quarter, which is kind of a funny mark on this trimmer, so I kinda have to look for it. There we go. Okay, so we have our two score lines. This is all like the fancy <laughs> part you need to do to make this fun fold. So very simple, score on the eight and a half inch side at two inches and at six and a quarter, okay? All right, so now let me grab out my bone folder. So these are the adhesive pouches that I was telling you about as well with my new design. So I this fits a ton. You could use it for card swaps, you could use it for adhesive. I'm using mine for my adhesive. It fits so much in there, so really, really great. Okay, so we have our score lines. Let's go ahead and score on the score lines or fold on the score lines, I should say, okay. There we go. So now we have what kind of looks like a gatefold card, um, but it's uneven. So we have like a thicker side and a thinner side. You can see that this side is thicker than that side, hopefully. And we're not doing a gatefold, we're doing a pocket. So we want to turn this like this, and it's gonna be a landscape card, and we are making a pocket. So you want the skinny piece to be at the bottom. So this is the piece here that is the shortest. So we have the larger flap at the top and the smaller one at the bottom. So before we get that confused, let's glue this down so we have our pocket created. So I've just got my tear and tape adhesive, okay? And I'll just put some on each side of what's going to be that little pocket. Okay, so tear and tape is really great because you don't need any scissors. You can just go ahead and rip it right from the um, roll because I have my nails. I do have to use the take your pick tool to get the little backing off. Um, but now I'll just fold that up 
and we have a little pocket. Isn't that so cute? So we've already made our little pocket. Okay, so we're gonna dress this up all fancy and remember to stick around to the end because I have another card to show you as well. I keep going out of the frame. Let me just tilt that a bit. There we go, maybe that's a little better. Okay, so we're gonna decorate this up. So the first piece I want to add is some of the flowers and more designer paper. This is a host paper in the mini catalog. Love this. And I'm gonna use my seal adhesive and put this piece on the bottom where my pocket is. So this piece is, let me just show you, it's five and a quarter inches by one and three quarters, okay? So let's go ahead and put that on. So that's going to start to dress it up. All right, so we've got this nice sort of edge around so we can still see our Daffodil Delight, okay? I do need to die cut a piece because I want to kind of um, cover where these two pieces of cardstock meet. So they don't overlap because then I need to use more than half a piece of cardstock. And I wanted to really keep this kind of like standard card size. Um, it also fits in a standard envelope. So here's a standard envelope. It's always so nice when we can make a fun fold and it still fits a standard envelope. Um, so I want it to have the look of it being overlapping here. So what I'm gonna do is let me bring in my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, okay? And I've got the Basics Borders dies, which I'm obsessed with these. I use these so much. If you don't have these in your collection, it is time to add to cart, my friends. They are so good. So I'm just going to make a border piece to go on that top flap. So I have a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock here, and this is five and a quarter by one and a half. And I'm going to use this die here that looks like rickrack, and I'm going to die cut that. So I've got my post-it tape here to keep that in place. There's a link for this in the video description. I get asked for that link all the time. It's great to keep your dies in place as you die cut. Okay, all right. So if you're following along with me, let me know. Or if you make this card later after the video is over, I wanna know, let me know in the comments. It's always so fun when people say, oh my goodness, I'm gonna try this. Or, you know, oh, I, I haven't used that set in so long. Or give me, some, give me some ideas of what other stamp sets I could use to make this card. I already have another one that I'm gonna share next week using this um, same card design and a different stamp set, which you're gonna freak out, it's so cute, but we're focusing on garden birdhouses today, aren't we? Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And now let's bring back in our card. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to kind of cover up so it looked like this was more of a flap, okay? But I also have a piece of designer paper that I wanna put on the top here as well. So this is also from Flowers and More. This piece is five and a quarter by two inches. So it's important to me that I don't have any of this yellow showing through the middle. So I kind of put my Melon Mambo where I want it. Let me grab my adhesive before I do that. I have to kind of have it at the ready. So I put my Melon Mambo where I want it. So it's covering up that, that band of Daffodil Delight that's through the middle. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of my liquid adhesive here. Okay. And then I'm going to place my other piece of designer paper so I have like an equal point around the outside. So you could make this even shorter. Like my sample, I made this piece a little bit shorter, but it doesn't really matter. However you do it, it's gonna look super cute. So now I wanna glue this on, but I need to be careful that I'm not putting my adhesive too low. Because if I do, I'll end up gluing it shut. So make sure that you don't put your adhesive too low on that rickrack piece, because you don't want to glue your card shut. Okay, so now, I can put that onto my card front and we have our cute pocket fold. Isn't that cute? Just a really fun pocket fold. We still have to make it fancy, of course, with garden birdhouses. So 
Let's go ahead and bring in some other pieces I have here. Oh, I'm already dropping my Stampin' Blends. Okay, so I have some pieces that I've gotten ready. So I am gonna put an insert inside of here. So this is a piece of basic white cardstock, and this is four and a half by three and three quarters, okay? So I thought it would be fun to have like a little bit of interest on the inside of our card that mimics the front of our card. So let's put one of our birdhouses. I'm going to use my Tuxedo Black Memento ink, okay? And I'm just gonna use this cute birdhouse on the insert, okay? which I mean, it's so stinking adorable. But while I have this out, why don't I stamp my other pieces too? I do need a piece of scratch paper because I am gonna stamp off, like off the piece I'm, you'll see. So this is just my small grid paper. I can just use this. I've got a piece of basic white cardstock and I have cut this already with the, can you see that? With the layering circles dies. And I also have a piece of Daffodil Delight that I cut already with the layering circles to just um, mat those up together, okay? So like I said, all the, all the links are in the video description if you're wondering which is the layering circles, so you can find it there. Okay, so let's do some more birdhouses. So this is gonna be on the front of our card, this circle. So I've got this one here, which is gonna go, I don't know, kinda like that. And this one I'm gonna put on its little stand. So I'm gonna ink up this piece here and stamp that. So it looks like it's, you know, like on one of those tall birdhouse stands. And then I want to do the sentiment, hello. So this sentiment is also from Garden Birdhouses. Gar I just totally <laughs> butchered that, Garden Birdhouses. Um, it's really super cute. I love that the hello is very forgiving about like which it's like when it's straight because um, it's very, you know, we want this vertical line straight, but we don't have to have to try and like do the vertical line and then the sentiment. It, this sentiment is so forgiving. I love it. So I also have just a scrap of my basic white here and I'm going to stamp another birdhouse that I'm going to cut out and put on here. Okay. So there we go. All right, so we're ready to do some coloring with our Stampin' Blends. So one thing I wanna point out is when you're coloring with alcohol markers, which is that's what the Stampin' Blends are, alcohol markers, you want to be sure that you are using a water-based ink for your stamping. So that's why I've used the Tuxedo Black Memento. It's important that you're using a water-based ink to color with your alcohol-based markers, okay? So the colors I'm using today are Melon Mambo, Balmy Blue, and Daffodil Delight. So those are the colors I'm gonna use to do my cute birdhouse. So I'm gonna color on my scratch paper because I just don't wanna go through to my tabletop. So this little birdhouse, why don't we do in Melon Mambo? So I'm starting with my dark Melon Mambo. Oh, I'm a little bit shaky. Hopefully I don't color outside the lines. So dark Melon Mambo. I'm just gonna kinda do this whole side of the birdhouse and under the roof line and kind of, kind of bring it down a little, like there's a shade from the roof line, okay? So then I'll take my light Melon Mambo and I'll just carry that on down the entire front of the birdhouse. So I will go ahead and do kind of that circular motion where the dark and the light color meet so I can have, um, a more seamless transition from my dark marker to my light, okay? So that's how you get the two colors or the two, um, like the dark and the light to blend is you do that either circular motion or a back and forth motion where the two colors meet and they'll mix because they're alcohol based. Okay, so let's take our dark Daffodil Delight and we're gonna do our little bottom of our birdhouse here. And let's do the roof. So kind of, I'll just go down one side and across the bottom here. Okay. And then I'll take my light Daffodil Delight and fill that in. And again, I'll do kind of like my circular motion and back and forth to get those colors to blend. Okay. 
So there we go. So there's the insert for our card. We, you know what? We actually have a new neighbor coming to our, the house next door sold. I should have done the welcome stamp. Oh, that's okay. I can add welcome on the inside. So, oh, I'm so excited. I thought of that. I have a card already for them or I will. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and color our other birdhouses here. So I'm going to go ahead. Why don't we just keep going with our dark melon mambo. I'm going to do this birdhouse here with dark melon mambo. So I'm kind of going underneath that roof line once again and under the little perch. And then I'll take my light melon mambo. Again, kind of like the back and forth and the swirling to get those two colors to mix. Oh, and I went over the little perch a little. That's okay. Okay. So there's one. And then on this one here, I'm going to do the door and then this little, um, like this kind of peak in the house. I mean, birdhouses are every color. You can buy them literally in any color. So I thought, why not make them bright and fun and adorable? Because, I mean, I don't think that there's many pink houses out there, but pink birdhouses, oh yes, there are. Okay, so we'll go in and finish that up. I'm excited to show you the other card I have to share. So don't scoot away now that you know how to make the fun fold. I really want to share that card with you. Okay, so now I have my dark Daffodil Delight and I'll just do some pieces there and then we'll fill in with our light. Okay, and then on this one here, let's do this house, our Daffodil Delight. I recently read an article that said houses that are painted yellow tend to sell faster than others, which I thought was kind of cool. I didn't know that. My house is kind of like a, it's like a gray green. When we were building our house, uh, we didn't have many options because lots of the houses on the street were already built. And so we like, they, it's like a master plan community or whatever they call it. Um, so you have to be within a certain colorway, And it was kind of a pain because none of the ones I wanted, we were allowed to choose. Like we had to be very specific. And so we ended up getting a kind of um, like a grayish green, which is fine. But I honestly think that all the houses look the same color anyways. So like, I don't think it was a big deal. I think they should have just let us do whatever we wanted. They all look the same anyway. Okay, so dark balmy blue now, and then I'll go in with my light. So let me know in the comments, what color would you color these birdhouses? Because I think this is really fun to match with the designer paper I'm using, but like there's so many options you could do. There are just the cutest, like they're just so cute, these birdhouses, and I think you could do them in so many different colors. Like I think whatever you choose will be so adorable. But let me know what colors you choose because, you know, I love to know your opinions. Except if your opinion is not nice. If you have a not nice opinion, feel free to keep that to yourself. <laughs> I'm putting myself out here by doing a video on YouTube and sometimes I do get nasty comments, which I think is, I mean, yeah, it's super rude, but I'm just like, why wouldn't someone just move along? Like, why why leave a nasty comment? Just move along. You don't have to watch. No one's making you watch this video. Don't leave a nasty comment to people on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook. Just move along. You don't need to be here if you don't like it. So I just want you to know that I appreciate if you are here and are enjoying it. It really makes my day to hear from you. But if you don't have nice things to say, please just don't comment. It's just, it just ruins my day, quite frankly. <laughs> Okay, let's look at our houses. Are they not just the cutest? Oh my goodness, I love them. And just so, so cute. Okay, oh, you're also nice, I can see your comments. I love your videos, no nasty comments. You're so great. See, I have good people here. I am so thankful for that. And that, you know, it's it makes all the difference. Okay, let's do a quick fussy cut of our, oh, my little bag is empty. I keep forgetting to put all the things back in. Um, let's do a quick fussy cut of our little house. 
okay? Because I'm going to do this one kind of on top. Oh, I was going to zip this up, but I really don't have to. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it just a quick little fussy cut. Okay. Oh, Diana. So Diana's saying she'd love to know how to order a bag. So all of that information will be on my blog on Friday, March 17th. Okay. So Friday, March 17th, go to nicepeoplestamp.com. The sweatshirts, t-shirts, and adhesive bags will be available for pre-order. And then once the pre-order closes, I will go ahead and get them into production. So just know that when you do place your pre-order, that you're not gonna, it's not gonna ship right away. You're not gonna receive it right away. It's gonna be a little bit of time until they ship. Um, my personal favorite is the sweatshirt. I love a good sweatshirt. We're, my craft room is always kind of cold, so I love a good sweatshirt. But there's t-shirts as well, because I know I have lots of viewers who are in hotter states, okay? Like, I'm in Canada, so it's kind of cold here all the time. <laughs> So, um, but I do know that I have viewers that are from some of the hotter states, so I made sure to get t-shirts as well. So, um, all of those options will be on my blog on Friday, March 17th at nicepeoplestamp.com. And I will be sending it out early to my newsletter subscribers. So if you are not yet subscribed to my newsletter, make sure you do that. There is a link in the video description so you can join my newsletter list and you get a lot of the information early when it comes to stuff like this. So make sure you subscribe. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue my circle here with my cute birdhouse onto my scalloped circle. Remember those two were cut out with the layering circles dies. Okay. All right. So now I want to add my cute birdhouse up here, but of course I need dimensionals. Like I use dimensionals on everything. <laughs> so let's put some dimensionals on the back there. Okay. And we're just going to put this one kind of up like that above the hello. Okay, so cute. I think it's a little crooked. Let me just, let me just give it a little, oh, I can see a, a fresh freesia, gorgeous grape or granny apple green. Those would be really good colors for this as well. Okay, so now we can put this onto our cute little card because I mean, this fun fold is just precious. Let's put our insert in, our cute little insert, precious. And then we want this on the front of our card. So what I want to do is I want to put this on with dimensionals, but I need to be careful that I don't put my dimensionals so low that I glue my card closed. So I'm going to put dimensionals kind of on the top two thirds of that circle. So I just want to make sure that I'm not going all the way to the bottom because I don't want to glue my card closed because that really defeats the purpose of a fun fold card, doesn't it? Kind of turns it into a postcard. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down and I kind of want to make sure it's straight. And before I really stick it, I kind of open it and make sure I don't see any dimensionals up there and then I push it down. Okay, one last thing here. I want to add on a cute bow because I mean, why not? Let me get this out of the way. I'm getting messy here. So where is my twine? I know I brought it. Okay, here it is. So this is the... Baker's Twine Essentials Pack, and I am using the white, okay? So we're just gonna do a little bow to go above our birdhouse here. And then I'll show you the other card I have to share. So don't forget, there is another card here, so don't scoot off just yet. Okay, so let's get that bow. Oh, so cute, okay. And then I'm just going to use just a smidge of my liquid glue. Just kind of put it behind that birdhouse. Okay. And we'll drop that bow right in there. Isn't that precious? Oh, so cute with our fun fold. Oh, let me get the, the lid on my glue. All right, so that is our cute card today. So I used the Garden Birdhouses stamp set. The colors I used were 
for my coloring were Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Balmy Blue. And then my paper is the Flowers and More from the mini catalog. So that is a host paper. And then don't forget our cute little insert. Isn't that precious? Okay, so that is one, but are you ready to see the other one I made? So this one is very different colors than um, the one I shared with you. But here is the other one. So this one uses Orchid Oasis, Daffodil Delight, and Granny Apple Green for just a darker little bit. Oh, I didn't do an insert for that one. I better do that. Um, a darker, little bit less bright. Um, but yeah, you can decide which one. Tell me in the comments, do you like like the blues and greens or the blues and pinks? I think if you have been here before, you know which one I like. I am all about the pinks. <laughs> um, I just love a good pink. I'm obsessed with pink. My little card doesn't want to stay closed. I'll put a blend on it so you can really see it. But those are our two cards for today. I hope you enjoyed creating along with me. A few little reminders. Today is the last day to get a spot in my virtual retreat. Also, if you are hoping to get the fabulous sweatshirt, t-shirt, and or adhesive pouch, those go live on my blog, nicepeoplestamp.com on Friday, March 17th. It will be a pre-order, so make sure you go ahead and get your pre-order in because once it's closed, this design is going back in the vault. <laughs> and then, of course, if you would like to shop for any of the products I used to make today's adorable card, I hope you'll consider shopping with me. You can go to shopnicepeoplestamp.com and you can shop with me from anywhere in Canada. I have a great shopping rewards program where you can earn free stamp sets just by shopping with me because I appreciate you and I want to make sure that you know I appreciate having customers who are loyal so I have a very generous loyalty program. All right everyone thank you so much for being here. I had a great time crafting with you and I hope to see you again next week Wednesday night 7 p.m. Mountain. Make sure you're subscribed so you never miss it. Okay bye everyone.